Yeah, that's right. So you're going to see who wants it more. They had a lot of singles tests against, well, against their fellow young lions, Oscar Loewe and Yuta uh, Nakashima. The they also had Doki and uh, Callum Newman yeah. as well. Exactly. So, you know, all of that happening off camera, a chance for them to develop, get their reps in. And now we're seeing what they can do. And when we first took a look at them, they were completely shaven-headed. You, you know, you like being a newborn baby, you start your life afresh. And then they've since been allowed to grow out their hair, have a little bit of personality, I guess. Well, what I find interesting, you know, obviously neither of these two young lions have won a matchup so far. Uh, however, with this tag team contest, it's guaranteed that one of them will walk away with a victory and causing that to be the very first in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Shomakato, uh, first tag team matchup for both of these guys. Young Lion who passed the trials on the spirit, Chris Charlton. You're yes. all about the spirit. Yeah, that's right. A great reality TV show that Kazuchika Okada put together. Young 20-year-old Shomakato. And tag made in comes Satoshi Kojima. And he's going to keep up the work on Kato. Kato uh, played baseball in high school and then quit the baseball team in senior year and got into grappling in a bid to try and get into professional wrestling. You know, and it's interesting for Morishima and Kato basically having the opportunity to say, hey, pick a former IWGP heavyweight champion to team alongside in your very first tag match. Cover here for Kojima and a kick out. So Kato. Kick out once again and a repeated cover. Um, the test of Shomakato to kick out each time Satoshi Kojima putting more weight on the young man. And you can bet that if if Shomakato hadn't kicked out of one of those pinfalls, the number of Fast horse as what is, I mean, that's technically a foreign object. Well, Illegal in nature. I right, think the referee will want to try and drain this sort of antics in. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Dude, just a little bit. Is his masked horse? Come on. We're going to make him run. Here we go. He's never going to win first. this race. It's over the second. Here we go. One time stretch for the finish. Oh, oh no, just the form is fading, Walker. They're tiring him out before December 24th. There we go. They're whipping into life. It's a carrot and stick situation. Toriano's got the stick. How long can this go? You've got your whole paycheck on here. Oh, no. How close are we to the finish line? Nay, says Toriano. Hey. And a drop kick for Fast Horse. The fighting spirit of Fast Horse. It continues. Tag made it comes Mass Bolt. A shoulder attack. I mean, uh, say what you want about this Mass Bolt individual, but incredibly powerful, a very familiar offense if you are familiar with other members of the New Japan Pro Wrestling roster as... Yeah, you're flying body sausage from Mars Bolt in there. I was surprised that Mars Bolt was able to speak horse. You saw the backstage comments last night. Right. You know, Mars Horse was overcome with the emotion of being back in the ring for the first time in five years. We can't get out of this one. We can put a cork in it in about 10 minutes. You get shots off like that on the Tomo Hero Ishii. Here comes Gallup Newman from the middle rope. Drop kick sends down Ishii. Yeah. Ishii back up immediately though. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Newman yeah. up as well. Drop kick. Yeah. Someone's got to go down. Spanish fly. Spanish fly. Spanish fly. Spanish fly. Cover. The boys, and we are at 10 minutes now, but the boys to not just bounce back and collide, but launch that Spanish fly. Here we go. Tiger suplex cover here from New 
Newman kick out last second. That's one third in the never played six round champions. Didn't even consider that. I mean, if I Newman can pick up the victory, United Empire might be able to get a shot oh, in the future once again. We know we'd love to see that rematch. Maybe, but I don't think anybody thought that Karen Newman would put up the fight that he's done so far, but now he's got to have a plan in mind. I truly feel as though Will Ospreay, when seeing Callum Newman, saw himself in a younger way. Looking in the mirror of time. Two pass, ten away. Oh, head punch. And Newman's out. If the lights aren't on, they're dimming. Here comes Ishii off the ropes. This could be it. Middle oh, rope. Oh, it's cutter. Oh, it's cutter. Man, not a typical. No gay dojo, young lion, amateur wrestler. Get your know, Yuto Nakashima strengths is in underground mixed martial arts. And he's starting to wrestle to that. Rough around the edges, sure, but that's a, that's a good thing a lot of the time. I mean, how often do we see that unique styles of offense tend to be one of those successful in professional wrestling? It's Loibe back in. Oh. Everybody complains about Yoshihashi's chops, but that was a brutal one. High low. Can't take too much time, though. Will yourself into a better position, gentlemen. Yuzo Nakashima with the Boston Crab. Loibe's going to have to play King of the Mountain wherever he possibly can. And that Boston Crab locked in center of the ring. It's Yoshihashi that is going to have to try and make it to that bottom rope. Can he manage to do so? You've seen him do it before. Yuto brings it right back to the middle, right back to the midst of the work. That's the benefit of those thousands of squats every day, Walker. Boy, Bay, leg drop. Nice, took his shot right back to Goto. Good job, Tenzan style. This could be it. This could be it. You mentioned it, Tenzan style. Boston grab. He's sitting in deep. The curvature of the spine doesn't bend that way. He's giving up, though, a lot of grip on those knees to apply more torque. We could be seeing the shock of the year in our last event of the year tonight. Yoshihashi inches away from the ropes. Now begging the referee, Sakamoto, for the break. Like to see him doubling up on that Boston Crab. To shoot below the top prize in the Junior Heavyweight Championship of New Japan Pro Wrestling. El Desperado, you know what I mean? Always embraced the fact that he was wearing the, the black hat, especially when you know he came into New Japan Pro Wrestling as a member of Hontai, which is you know some strange tag team matches that you want to dig out in the World Archives for. Um, and then found himself through that tag team with Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Suzuki Gun, embraced that fact that he was a black hat guy, said, I don't want to be the face of this division. And yes, greatness, but also a lot of luck, Walker, you know what I mean? And that comes through all the time. Most significantly, El Desperado had nothing going for him. Keep your eyes on Hiromu. Hitting that. Sakahashi now, there he out of the corner, watch this, could be looking for the drop, kick connects with El Desperado, Chris, your point. February 2021, El Desperado had absolutely nothing going for him, was not a champion, was not in the lineup for the championship. And then, Hiromu Takahashi rips the peck off, the, rips his peck off the bone, and he has to vacate the junior heavyweight title. El Desperado won two sets of vacant championships, in its few weeks span, went from nothing to be an IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team and IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and was the last challenger for the IWGP Heavyweight Intercontinental Championships nearly got the And so when you are in that position where you are the de facto leader at the worst possible time in terms of Attendance in terms of the COVID pandemic 
it teaches you a lot about yourself. Miguel Desperado did a lot of learning. He came out the other side. And you'll see that not even in gear, they're in just pants. They came for a fight. It's not a match. It is a fight that ends with someone being placed in a coffin. The only way to win. One fall, 30 minutes time limit. The gore from Clark Connors. And it is already, I mean, could this be one of the fastest matches we have ever seen in New Japan Pro Wrestling? Guy what is in, but that's not the finish. They're going to shut the lid. Get it, try to close it. Well, Connors is doing what he could to try and close that lid, but it's not going to happen here as TJP is the man who threw out the challenge. Whether Francesco Akira wanted to compete in it. Oh, no! Over the top of the coffin. Cross body off the middle rope. I spoke to Akira earlier on today. He was not a fan of this situation at all. He was preparing to wrestle Drill and Maloney one on one. We don't but, you know, he said, TJ wanted this match, threw it out. I will be there. I'll back into the hilt on this. We don't often see leaders between the two of Ketsutsu. However, if there was to be a de facto one, it would be TJP, given well, that mean, experience. This I mean, is it. It's always been TJP reigning in Acura. It's always been Acura with a wild idea. Let's try this, let's do this, and TJ being the sensible one. And now here we have TJ, this vendetta. And let's not forget, you know, I mean, it was Maloney, this all started with Maloney and Acura, but it just feels like, and perhaps this, the changes in TJ's life recently. Uh, becoming a father recently for the second time. This Cork and Hall, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Zack Sabre Jr. Tokyo Dome, it will see January 4th, 2024, and JPW World Television Championship on the line. You mentioned earlier on about that championship was originally developed for younger talent. This will be the first time Roshi Tanahashi is challenged for that World Television Championship. Yeah, it's ironic enough to win it that Hiroshi Tanahashi, for a time, one of only two of the IWGP U30 30. champions. And now here he is. Hoping to make the NJPW World TV Championship. Perhaps we could call it the IWGP 045. Wouldn't be the first one of those I've seen. Well, yeah, just not officially called. Yeah, but I think there's something to be said about Hiroshi Tanahashi wanting to win this World Television Championship, not because he wants to prove that he's the greatest of a younger generation, but because he wants to challenge that younger generation as this World Television Championship was designed to be. I think you're right, and I think it's a, he wants to do that within the framework of how he wrestles. We saw last time Tanahashi against Zack Sabre Jr. trying to wrestle a very different game plan to how Hiroshi Tanahashi usually wrestles. Um, a very ground-based match, and you see Tana trying to keep this on the stand-up as Sabre wrangles the arm here. Tanahashi has spoken about before he was thinking it might be, oh no, that could be very painful. Yeah, you're gonna wanna get this one out of the ropes, gentlemen. And you'll notice this whole maintained to the outside for Zack Sabre Jr. One of the best technical wrestlers in the world. It was a cross arm. But submitting Tanahashi in the G1. And everyone looking for the tag. Here comes Naito. Here comes Sonata. Once again, January 4th, this is the site. But there will be one result. Will it be the result we see tonight as well? Here's Naito. Drop kick back to the head to Sonata. I love what we continue to see out of Sonata. You can talk all you want about his promotional appearances and his media marketing skills. But the reality is, he's a hell of a professional athlete. Here's Naito, back of the neck. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be the game plan, Walker, no doubt. Once Naito hones in on that neck, then he goes nowhere else. And that full Nelson with the legs. And the leg 
The foot touching the bottom rope. We should be seeing a separation here. Naito's taking a little longer than Sonata can handle. Yeah, don't be surprised if Naito's forgotten how to get hold of, get out of this hole. Now he's been reminded. I think for both of these men, it will be a offense focused around the neck. Tetsuya Naito will be looking for Destino. We see him very rarely go away from that head area. Sonata, of course, will be looking for Deadfall. Naito, oh, Sonata slips out underneath. Waistlock could be seeing a German suplex. No. Just enough separation. Dazed a little bit was Naito. Leapfrog. Leapfrog reverse and the drop kick. Yuya Uemura, of course, targeting Yoda Suji directly. And you need to be told twice. Oh, it's Sonata's thinking. Moon Salt lands on the feet. Naito out of the way. Up and down, drop on the knee. And Tamiri step up. Look oh, at this. here Ready. it is, Ready. Destino. Ready. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And it collapsed underneath him. It's dead, dead ball. Dead, no. 